Welcome back to Fix It Friday. Today I'm going to show you how to get a free lawn mower. So let's talk about how I knew I could fix this thing. Um, I found this in a dumpster. So when you pull this handle, the motor rotates. You can feel it. Uh, you can feel it pull like it's supposed to. And when I flip it over, I can take uh, I can take this blade and rotate it around the correct direction. And uh, I see the motor turn up here, and I'm able to um, hear the compression in the engine. Now, if I if I had found this mower and it didn't do those things, I would have quit. But uh, pretty much anything else, we should be able to fix. So let's get started. So the next thing you want to do is you want to check your fluids. And I've looked down in this gas tank and it appears that there is a mixture of water and gas but either way um, I'd encourage you to dump everything that's in the gas tank out we'll go ahead and check the oil here it looks like I am pretty low on oil though I don't see any water down in there or anything other than oil so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and just top it up we're gonna dump our gas out and I'll be right back so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna pull the spark plug out and clean it what we do is we remove the boot and we get a wrench of the right size and you got to be really careful not to break this uh, not to break this ceramic mount and uh, we go counterclockwise to loosen it up we twist it pull it back we'll have a look at it so I don't know if you can see this or not but this spark gap is completely full of uh, gunk so I'm gonna hit this with a wire brush and uh, some carburetor cleaner. We'll see if we can get this thing cleaned up. The next thing we need to do is check the spark gap on our spark plug and uh, I have checked this one already and it reads 13 thousandths. Um, according to the user's manual it should be at uh, 30 thousandths so we're going to go ahead and adjust that. So we don't actually have a 30 thousandths leaf so we'll pick the 25 thousandths and the 5 thousandths and we'll put them together um, and uh, we take a really small screwdriver and uh, just lightly kind of pry that thing back and uh, we'll go ahead and check it and uh, man it just barely slides on there and slides off so I think that we have uh, got this thing set correctly um, if you cannot find your user manual and you just want to guess uh, 25 thousandths is a really good place to start we're gonna spray some carburetor cleaner up in the uh, the engine through the hole where the spark plug sits and then we're going to pull the handle a few times. And what that's going to do is clean any corrosion off the piston um, and push any uh, water or anything that is in that, uh, in that cylinder out of there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is use a little jumper wire to uh, connect the ground of the spark plug to the chassis. And uh, we're going to give it a few pulls here and see if we can get some sparks. Now if we do get some sparks we will know that our ignition system is working and we don't need a new points and condition <laughs> condenser. If I was getting uh, no spark here I would go ahead and replace the spark plug and uh, get a new points and condenser and just move on. Um, there should be should be tutorial videos out there on YouTube for that but since we're getting sparks I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Next we'll disconnect that wire and reinstall the spark plug just the way we removed it. So we'll screw it in there clockwise. Take our wrench and just lightly tighten it up. It doesn't need to be much more than finger tight. And then we'll replace the boot there. The next step is to see if you can figure out how to remove the air cleaner. and. Uh, You want to check for water here. Mine is pretty full of water. Um, and it's pretty full of gunk. So uh, get a toothbrush and knock a lot of this stuff out and then run gas backward through it. Or you can, uh, or you can buy a new one. Um, but I find that this usually works well enough. 
so while your air filter is drying out or you sent your wife to go get a new one um, we're going to uh, see about getting this thing to start so we're not going to put any gasoline in it but we're going to use some engine starting fluid so we'll take a little bit of that and spray it up into the uh, the air intake and uh, see if we can get it to at least turn over <laughs> Alright, once again. And if we're getting if we're getting a spark, we should get a little combustion here in just a second. Okay, this may affect, may take a few tries. I think I saw a little life there just a second. There was a little more life there. Now that I uh, got a little combustion, we know that the spark plug is working, and we know that there is um, at least some sort of fuel getting in the carburetor. So I'm going to do that until I can kind of get it to do it reliably. Good. Then I'm going to switch over to my carburetor cleaner. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of clean the intake actually get any in there. There we go. So clean the intake and the carburetor. Let's do it a little more. Just get things kind of going. Do a few shots of that. So now let's put, uh, put some gas in the tank. All right, so let's talk a little bit about gasoline. Now I know that your dad put 87 octane in everything and it was fine for years, but 87 octane now has a lot of ethanol in it and it doesn't work as well in two cycle engines anymore. So don't, don't cut costs here when it comes to gasoline. Go with at least 89, maybe 93. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is mix a little of this, and it's called sea foam. And this uh, will clean kind of the water and uh, some of the carbon and stuff out of your uh, out of your system. So we'll go ahead and we'll mix 50% uh, sea foam and 50% gasoline, and we're going to mix just a little bit of it up. All right. So about half and half. If you're not sure, err on the side of gasoline. You don't want to get too little uh, gasoline and too much seafoam. Use these newfangled. Uh, I swear, these things make me spill more gas than I ever spilled with one. All right, so we'll go ahead and kind of swirl that around a little bit. I want to make pretty much as little as possible. I'm going to run it through the... Uh, through the mower to kind of clean things up and then we'll just resume with regular gasoline. All right, so here we go. We've got our engine starting fluid and we've got our gasoline slash sea foam that we've put mixed up. Go ahead and put that in there. Give us a shot of starting fluid. 
shots to get gasoline down into the, uh, the carburetor and then when we start to see the sea foam come in we'll see a lot of white smoke and uh, if you've got a friend now's the time to employ them <laughs> but today I'm a little friendless so <clears throat> we'll keep doing it this way Starting to smell that sea foam coming out of the muffler. We're getting close. Hey guys, so I did a little bit of looking around and it turns out that I didn't have enough gasoline in it. Um, this needs a little bit more than I expected to get down to the carburetor bowl. Now, if I had, uh, if it had not uh, begun to fill when I added more gasoline, I would have pulled the bottom of the carburetor, this bowl off and checked and make sure that there wasn't any sediment in there. Um, if there had been sediment, I would have gotten a little wire brush and some carburetor cleaner and cleaned all of that out, put it back in there and tried again. Um, but as I'm getting, uh, I'm getting gasoline to the carburetor now, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing running. So I'm gonna give it a shot of engine starting fluid like we did a moment ago. Make sure we got everything right and give it a pull. Okay guys, that's it. Um, it should start on the first pull every time now, and uh, that's how you get a free lawnmower. Thanks for watching. If you want to uh, subscribe, if that helped you, that'd be great, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. Thanks.